What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Locked on Sharks, the premier hockey podcast covering your favorite team in the Bay Area. I'm excited because we don't just get to do the preview, traditional preview review thing that we do 400 times a year. There's actual Sharks news. People are gone. People are in. People are dead. Find out more. Yeah. Sharks. Hockey. You're locked on Sharks. Your daily podcast on the San Jose Sharks. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network. Your team every day. I'm gonna finish my thought there because I think the music cut me off. I said sharks, hockey, bad players. Uh, <laughs> because I think I think all the players we're gonna talk about today exclusively are probably bad, uh, save for Ryan Merkley. But I'm your host, Kyle Demetrius, back with me as always, is co-host J D V uh Power play two specialist to my <laughs> penalty kill specialist. <laughs> uh, I know this be- peek behind the curtains. So we would have normally recorded the preview episode like after we did yesterday's review. And I was just like, let's just wait and see what happens. And good thing we did. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah gut feeling. So things happened. The Sharks, we asked for changes and little baby changes but baby cha- baby changes but at least it's at least they're doing something it's not the ned flanders me we're all tired of tried nothing yeah. we're, we're all out of ideas so uh let's start with the easy one so aiden hill bet you people didn't think we were gonna start there did they Mm-mm. aiden hill went to ir do you remember what his injury was uh it's lower so body so no they of course the teal curtain you don't know i really side quick like with betting becoming a larger part of of sports like they're gonna have to start being more like open and transparent about what these injuries are right someday hopefully maybe maybe i think it's baked into the it might be baked into the cba yeah potentially but i i don't i don't know why do other why do other yeah, like nfl like you have like a string injury it's like the fourth finger on the left hand side yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like well it just know. makes sense i guess the old argument was that people could target the injury and it's like well no, nobody's gonna go out of their way and be like, "I'm gonna slash his left hamstring tonight." Yeah, that's that's really gonna do even it, more right? so than I normally was. <laughs> it's yeah, like, it's, pack it's... the boat. <laughs> <laughs> you won't believe this, but you guys are in direct competition. <laughs> uh, that's also that episode gives you my one of my favorite all time Homer moments when the kids are upstairs fighting and he's like, "All right, pie, <laughs> I'm gonna eat." You. I'm just gonna chomp the air like this, <laughs> and if you get no kitty, he hits his head on fault. the hood. <laughs> he smashes his head on the hood. Ah, like, oh, anyway. damn it! <laughs> just, yeah. yeah, it's so good because he literally goes from like six feet away going, <laughs> so just walking over and eating it. But anyway, I digress. Aiden Hill on injured reserve, which means uh, Godchenko stays with the club. Yep, I would assume there's nobody else, I, unless they call it Melnichuk. Yeah, I don't think they're going to call up another goalie right now, especially because, uh, as we'll get to here in a minute, but they don't have a fourth line center at the moment, uh, so they'll probably use this uh, roster spot to call up uh, one of the children, as in you know, no, Lord they're Jasper. Gonna, they're going to call up some sort of veteran that doesn't yeah, mean Scott anything. Scott Reedy, yeah. <laughs> so somebody they, will, yeah, they'll, they'll, they need a center there for tomorrow's game or today's game, whenever you get, yeah. So. But yeah, let's do let's do hold on. Let's do Ryan Merkley next. OK, well, we're building up the suspense. When are we going to get to the fireworks? <laughs> the fireworks in this case being a bad fourth line player. But anyway, <laughs> two of them. Ryan Merkley was not on the power play unit uh, because anytime you can put out Benino and Ferraro on a power play unit, you got to do it. Rudy. Rudy was on the power play. Very monkey's paw of us. <laughs> <laughs> we got Rudy, but we lost Merkley. I don't know. I would rather have Merkley than Rudy at this point. But uh I guess if you watched last night's game against the Vegas Golden Knights, Merkley made a few small errors, like missing a couple passes and stuff like that. Honestly, I felt like he didn't stand out uh, badly. I mean, Brent Burns was way worse. Uh, Vlasic Ferraro on the the Jack Eichel goal. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, didn't think, I, I thought as in the third period as well, Merkley made a lot of good uh, one-on-one stops um, and breakouts of his own end. I don't know. I don't want to keep beating this to death, but eventually, like, it, eventually, you got to play the guy. Like, yep. they commented on the on the broadcast last night that he had only played sixteen games and only or six. This is sixteenth game and he only has two points or whatever. It's like, well, yeah, because every time he does something, he gets benched. He makes Good a pinch and a down four he goals. Does. Yeah, <laughs> he makes a pinch down four goals against Tampa uh, to try to make some offense, and it was an unlucky bounce. And then he gets benched for that for like two weeks. It, it, 
Bob, the Athletic has the playoff chances of the Sharks at two percent right now, and I think that's about one point nine percent too high. <laughs> that's very generous at this rate. It's a very too. High I'll take it. Remember, percent. it was like less than a week ago. It was eleven percent and just cratered. Somebody so. locked on Sharks as a whole, as a collective, as a label. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, you don't know that joke. Oh, you don't listen to rap. Anyway, the content boy said that that 11% was a mirage. We've been saying it for months that they're not good enough to make the playoffs. People said we needed to be more positive, but look where we are now. We are positively sure that, that 11%. <laughs> it's, it's, the Paul, it's, the Paul, it's the Paul Rudd meme. <laughs> Who would expect us to see us here? Not me. Uh, we did. Anyway, Merkley's out. He'll be replaced by some scrub. Shimmick, uh, I guess. Shimmick. Shimmick's playing, yeah, with Vlasic. So cool. That's what we need trying to get back into the playoffs. To watch <sighs> R- Radim Shimmick on the ice. Anyway. Remember Shimmick was good. Oh, those were the I days. don't know. But before yeah. we get to the big news, big in quotations, uh do you think? I don't know. Gambling. I don't know. Talk about gambling. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to make a segue, I couldn't do it. Uh, do you think we could bet on the over <laughs> under of Shimmick minutes? If you could, bet online would be that not uh, bet online.net is the only place that I would trust. Although football season's over, basketball is in full steam with both pro and college hoops. From the latest odds, totals, player performance f- uh, props to next coach fired, bet online.net is your number one spot for all your sports betting needs. Bet online remains the best spot for your sports scores, podcasts, and news this season. And it's not just basketball, bet online. Uh, it's got your source for hockey, boxing, and UFC. So head over to our website today or use your mobile device to learn about the new trends in action. Bet online where the game starts. All right. Should we just do them together or do them separate? So I guess it's kind of hard to do one without the other because it doesn't make sense. So yep. the Sharks, the so little domino meme with the guy at yes. the bottom, the guy at the top. The uh, Leafs traded Nick Ritchie and some other junk for... Ryan Dezingle and Ilya Labushkin. Clearly, the trade was just to get to Labushkin because they needed D help. Uh, today, they waived Ryan Dezingle. Or Ryan yesterday. Dezingle was then, or yesterday. Today, he was claimed by San Jose. And in a reciprocal move, San Jose uh, benched power play to God, Wayne Patterson. Uh, oh, by benched, I mean waved. 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 Bench, waved. waved. Yes. Um, that means that Patterson will either be claimed and he's gone forever, or once he clears, they can send him down to the Barracuda never to be seen again hopefully yeah uh ryan is single so he's not good he's let's not just good. put it out there right now let's just let's just let's just stomp out the fires of ever being like oh man oh he man. had back-to-back <laughs> 20 <laughs> <Second> rounders <laughs> he had back-to-back 20 goal seasons three three 20 goal or no yeah two sorry oh, no. I, I'm look at total, yeah so he had back-to-back 20 goal seasons with ottawa i think the most recent one was in 18 19 I don't know if people know this, but 1920, 2021, and now 21, 22 have happened. That's and a long before time. those back to back goal seasons, he was nothing. He has scored, a, I think, a combined maybe like 15 goals since 1819. He has, all right, it's 1920. He has eight uh, with Carolina. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then uh, eight, 20, eight, how many games? How many? This is point. Uh, this is point 64 important. games. Well, real amount of games. Yep. Um, in 2021, between uh, Carolina and Ottawa, he had in 40 games, he had eight goals. Okay, and then uh, 21, 20, 26 games with the Yotes this year, four goals. So he has 20 goals, <laughs> he has 86 goals in three, 400 games. Let's call it. Yep, I, the, the Sharks picked him up and they talked about he has some skill. He can I'm slot sure into the does. power play too. Yep. He's going to sure. be playing on the power play tomorrow or today. They've already said he's on the power play. T- yeah, he's going to be playing on the power play today. <sighs> I, I mean, okay, hold on. Let, let's break this down. At least they did something. Yes, we and did ask I for We asked to do something. True. And Ryan Dezingle is like a real NHL player. Teams play him. He's not Lane Pedersen who has like 20 games total for his career or anything like that. Yeah. He, he is a real person that plays in the NHL. So he's going to be a little bit of a, an uptick there over the fourth line. But at the same time, this team is desperate for offense, and they picked a guy who hasn't had offense in three years. <sighs> yeah, and he, makes one, mean, and he makes $1.1 million, which is kind of inconsequential because the Sharks have a ton of cap space. But still, Yeah, the money doesn't matter. So He is point. decent defensively, 
But again, we've just watched Benino and Cogliano the whole year, who were defensive guys. Spider Man meme but, with Nieto, Cogliano, and the Zingle all pointing. And Benino. <laughs> and Benino. There's so just, many of them. Might as well throw Veal in there too and Raska. Like where do you where do you think that he slots into the lineup? Uh just to make us mad, second line. <laughs> <laughs> He's for sure going to go second line so they can bump Matt Nieto off of it, right? Yes. So I wish I was joking, but I'm kind of not at the same time. So, so then, hold on. <laughs> so then we're going. So here, here was the line Hurt, today okay. as, as a uh, practice day, of course. This is without uh, without our, the Zing God. Um, so they had Bear Banoff, Hurdle Meyer. Okay. okay. Not not moving. Yeah. Nope. Yes. <laughs> Locked together. Uh Balters, Kator, Nieto, Cogliano, Benito, Gregor, Vio, Gadovich, Dalin. Again, Dalin, fourth line Dalin. RIP. The message so was gonna... sent. He played a whole game on the fourth line. Yep. Um, so they're going so Dezingle's gonna have to slide in there somewhere because they've already said he's gonna play. And then so... you're gonna have to oh, you know what? This is leading, right? Oh, Dalin scratch. Mm-hmm. But the message was sent. <laughs> send it some more yeah because so, they're gonna have to they need a, a center and let's say just are like screw it <laughs> no fourth line center but yeah so he's gonna go with couture and bear banoff no sorry couture and balsers on the second line which means that then we can get nieto cogliano benino <laughs> which means that we have veal dalan gregor gadjevich for two spots and then a center. Yep. Unless they play like, does Gadjevich play center? I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't really... I mean, it'd be kind of cool if they did Dahl and Gregor Weatherby. I, w- if they did that for the, I, I'd be down with that. Like, <laughs> yeah, let's, if they went Dahl and Weatherby Gregor as the fourth line, or that would actually be the third line in all from yes. my, in my world. <laughs> but if they did that as a line and I'm, scratched Gadovich in them, like I'm all good. Yeah. For and the Lord, the return of the Lord, he was banished. Hopefully. Like he's like Napoleon right now, uh, coming <laughs> back from Elvis Island or whatever. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, we don't know. He, just... well, he's big. He's big. Yeah. So he can do the the Bob needs to to get a little chubby over having a guy who punches faces in the lineup. So you don't need Gadovich reveal. I, I can't. I, I don't like Dezingle it. on the second line because he doesn't have scoring pop anymore. But I don't hate it. It's better than Nieto, maybe? <laughs> I guess. Well, no, Nieto's going to play on the third line. Yeah, but I'm just saying on the second line, though. I feel like he mm. has... Maybe he's... I think he has a little bit more scoring pop than than mm. uh, Nieto. But like, that's, like saying, like, that's like saying Phil Esposito still has some scoring pop because he scored 75 goals in 1980. Yeah, but... It, it, eventually, eventually, you got to like do it now, and he hasn't done it in a while. Matt Nieto has uh, what five goals? Is Matt Nieto has seventy-one career goals in five hundred and forty games, uh, yeah. and Ryan Dezingle has eighty-six and four hundred. So he's got a little bit more, but like I didn't say it was much. I just said it was. It's a goals, where's, more. The, where's the per? Where's the per game stats? God damn it! Uh, I wish this was easier to navigate for me. Great, Matt. Goals per sixty. So this is Matt Nieto for his career. Mm, doesn't have career totals. Damn it. I'd have to add them up. All right. Well, this was a fail. This is a failed, failed, failed experiment. Um, but anyway, the point is, is that Dezingle hasn't scored actual goals in a while. Is this all just to help get Eric Carlson more friends? <laughs> That's my question. <laughs> Why would this help Eric Carlson? Because they played together on Ottawa back in the day. I don't he think they did. More fr- yeah, they did. 16, 7. Yeah. Oh my oh my god, they did. Yep. Is it just Ugh. let's get Eric Carlson more friends? <laughs> Ryan Dezingle also turns 30 on March 9th. So yeah, it's, like this not is... even, it's not even like it's a young play. <laughs> no, is and God, why do they keep getting old people? There's there's fresh nubile children on the Barracuda. Just waiting. Yeah. God. So yeah, what this the uh... Lord? why do why can't we have the Lord back? Hopefully, yeah, we're hoping. So we'll know tomorrow because they're going to be boarding the plane here soon to to head to Anaheim. So what's what's the what's the worst possible lineup configuration? Scratching Dalen, scratching yeah. Gregor, and yep. then going with Veal, 
Gadovich, uh, the Lord. No, I, if he doesn't get called up, they just are like, yeah, they don't pull up any any of those guys. So I think Dolan would be. Dolan if Dolan gets scratched, scratched would be... just Dolan and Merkley just scratched, sitting there looking sad. Rough it's like, brand. guys, we can't get any offense going. <laughs> yeah, you've got. <laughs> It'd be really funny if they played the Ducks and uh... they score like five goals with those two guys. <laughs> no, no, they scored zero goals and then wonder why they'd have no offense. That would be <laughs> that would be good. That would be good. All right, so the Ducks. Let's uh, get into them. So I don't want to get, get, get into the Ducks. This is the first time. The, the, this is crazy. It's the first time they're playing the Ducks. It's 50 games in the season. They haven't even played the Ducks yet this year. But the Ducks, though, are, I mean, they were. They came out of the gate pretty hot. They've kind of cooled down recently. But they, aren't they still in the playoffs? They're still like in the, the hunt. I think teams two through five mm-hmm. in the Pacific are all separated by like I can tell like you. a few a few points here I, but... have the, I have the technology so yeah uh the ducks are currently not in the playoffs so in the pacific calgary 64 points in 48 games vegas has 62 points in 51 games edmonton has 59 points in 50 games la is currently holding down the last wild card spot uh with 59 points in 50 games um so they're actually statistically tied with edmonton they just lose on the tiebreakers and then anaheim has played 52 games and has 57 points so they're a little off the pace in terms yeah. of points per game there and dallas has come on a little bit at the end here so dallas has actually played 49 games uh but has 56 points they're only a point behind anaheim so yeah two through two through five here two three four five is separated by five points with they're all kind of around the same amount of games played 50 51 or 52 um and then calgary is the clue to the class of the pacific because they played way less games and have more points so they're in the mix i think they're going to be in the mix for the rest of the season no yeah, I think they're definitely going to be in the mix. I don't know if they have enough, you know, to make it, but it's good experience for their young guys to try to go through this this playoff push here and you know to try to to play meaningful hockey in March and April. Um, but yeah, speaking of their young guys, the, yeah. look at this lineup. So I'd like to point out that Ryan Gaslaff is day to day. I don't know what he's injured with, but he could be back because it says day to day. But anyway, first line: Adam Henrique, Trevor Zegers, Jakob Silverberg. Doesn't sound very good, but Trevor Zegers is amazing. Yes. Second line. Uh, there's a little theme here. None of their lines sound good, but then work. Yes. So, especially this one. Sonny Milano, Stam Steele, Troy Terry. Don't Troy know Terry. how that works, but it does. The okay. only... Captain America. He's, he's both a rookie and has played 500 NHL games at the same time. <laughs> Is he a rookie? No, but he... Yeah. He's just one of the young guys. He's been around for he a He is... Uh, let's see here. Troy Terry is 24 and a half. Uh, and he's played... He's already played 176 games. He's played yeah, like 40 of... games a year for like five years. Yeah, <laughs> so... he's like a rookie. He's both a rookie and he's played 500 games at the same time. Um, but yeah, he's he's scored like crazy this year at so. the beginning of the season. Yeah, yeah. And then so their third line is Maxime Comtois, uh, Isaac Lundestrom, Rickard, Rick, Ricard Raquel. Uh, their fourth line is Nicolas Delorier, Derek Grant, Sam Carrick. Defensive Full pairs, face punchers. There, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, classic, classic ducks. Defensive pairs, Hampus Lindholm, Jamie Drysdale. Jamie Drysdale is very good. He's just 19. Uh, Cam Fowler, Kevin Shattenkirk, who looks like Andy Kaufman. Uh, and then Simon Benoit and Josh Mahura. And then their goalies are John Gibson and Anthony Stolars. They have Max Jones on IR and Josh Manson, who usually slots in their D on IR and gets left. All three of those guys would normally play, but they are injured. Uh, only gets left, I think, is ready to come back soonish. So gets left would probably slot in too. One of those top two lines uh, pushing the pushing the the centers down or moving them around a bit. But for the time being, Trevor Zegers, he good at the hockey. He's very, he's very good. And if you ask why, uh, we've talked about this before, but why the Sharks need to find another friend for Eklund, uh, go look at Trevor Zegers play hockey. Or and, Jamie Drysdale. Or Jamie Drysdale. Um, yeah, those guys are going to be dominating the Pacific for the next 10, 12 years right now. So, uh, yeah, they need to find somebody to counter that. So, yeah, uh, it's not going to be. I mean, this is the idea. If if you lose what the Ducks power play. It's yeah, 26 percent fifth. Their penalty kills 82 percent. So they're kind of middle of the pack for goals for and goals allowed in the game each game. But yeah, that uh, that power play. 
you do not want to mess with that power play. <laughs> it helps that their top power play unit is Ricard, Raquel, Sam Steele, Sonny Milano, Jamie Drysdale, and Trevor Zegers. Just a bunch of killers scoring goals. I don't know, oh, wow. Seconds. See all these young guys playing meaningful power play minutes? <sighs> yeah, Troy Terry can't even crack their top, their top power play unit. Imagine yeah. that. It's going to be – this is the game. So more, more than – well, this is the make or break. <laughs> the stand uh, is dead. Stand, or it beat the stand. Died. Plus stand. The stand died. Uh, we took it back out and old yellered it. But more than any of the teams they've played so far, uh, like especially Vegas, the Ducks are right there, thing. not in the playoffs. Well, they're not. Yeah. They're they're not in the playoffs. You got to hunt down. I I don't think anybody realistically thinks they're going to hunt down Vegas. No. Um, but like Duck Hunt, is there a joke there? Some sort of. Situation? I'm sure somebody's done it. <laughs> yeah, the Sharks did it for the playoffs the one year, or whatever. Yeah. I. Sorry. <laughs> Aliens are invading. Everybody, everybody duck and cover. Uh, I think I think this is the team that you want to also measure yourself about. Them and the Kings uh, are much more in the division um, and a little bit Vancouver are, are teams you want to measure yourself more against because the Ducks were bad and now are on the upswing. The Kings were bad and now on the upswing and the Sharks are trying to be on the upswing. But you got to look at them like you said. And this is why you get the, 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 Z, the Z-Gry of the world uh, instead of settling for some random clown at like 16 who doesn't pan out so i don't know i'm not hopeful the sharks have been pretty bad they lost six in a row but this is exactly the game that they're gonna pop off on no no they're not uh i don't think so i think ducks win just because the ducks need this game more than the sharks do yeah and the sharks have lost six in a row and i just don't see anything that makes me feel like they're going to uh turn that around so uh yeah i think the like I said, the Ducks, they need this game if they want to continue to hang in the playoffs and try to make a playoff push. And I, well, I the just... Sharks are still trying to make a playoff push. Nick Benito <laughs> last night. Nick Benito last night talked about how the, the, there's still season left, but they need to start winning games now. And I was like, uh, you need to win every game from now on to make the playoffs. Like, literally, have they're to currently win out. they're currently ten games out, ten, ten games, ten points, ten points out points. of the playoffs. Um, Twenty teams in front of them. Yeah, and they're it thirteen. Like well, not including Arizona because they're not a real team. Uh, <laughs> they're thirteen points away from Seattle uh, for ninth in the division in the conference. Like people forget, they're fourth last in the conference. <laughs> Only Chicago, uh, Seattle, and Arizona are worse. And if you look yeah. at the over, overall standings, uh, San Jose is twenty third in the league. The only teams worse than them, Chicago. The Islanders, but the Islanders have played four less games and have 43 points. So there's some there's some there's some janky math there that could that could help. And big game for the Tankathon standings coming up this week because they play the Islanders. Mm-hmm. Um, Blackhawks, Islanders, Sens, Sabres, Flyers, Devils, Kraken, Coyotes, Canadians. So and then it goes Sharks, and then the the Jackets and the Red Wings have have passed, moved past them, and the Canucks. So yeah, and the Sharks currently have the longest losing streak, six in a row, baby. Climbing those tankathon rankings, that rules. That it does. Rules. So, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Score of the game is going to be tomorrow on the way. Uh, I'll say four to two, Ducks. Uh, Timo, Timo and Hurdle both have two points, and yeah, give me a zingle goal of this first, so everyone gets all hot and bothered. I think they win this game. Mm. You're not going to lose every game forever. Are we sure? <laughs> no, but and they do play the Islanders in the Kraken coming up. But I think this is one of those games where they lost six in a row, and they're like, ah, oh, they come out and they win like three two, um, and everyone gets all like, we're back. Like, oh, oh yeah, they get their jollies up. And they're like, see, they just the, need to turn it around. Two percent doubles to four <laughs> percent. Not even. It'll probably go to like two and a half percent. But anyway, uh, I, I think this is the classic. They win one game and then lose like three more after it, and they they really go like one in nine in their last ten or something like that. So I think the Sharks win tomorrow, or especially tonight. if they get Anthony yeah. Stallers. He's not very good. We'll see. You should yeah. know. You are a Flyers fan. <laughs> yeah, I just, I, no hope. I've given up. Got no Losing hope, all. no jobs. And, <laughs> that's a stupid dad joke. You should know yeah. that. Let's get here. I'm waiting for the joke. What? <laughs> the 10 years ago, uh, we had Bob Hope, Cat, Steve Jobs, or whatever, and uh, Johnny Cash. And now we have no hope, no jobs, no jobs cash, whatever cash. that dumb joke is. Come on, man. Get it together. You're the dad. You're the dad here, not me. Let's go. <laughs> no, I don't want to go anywhere. I just want to sit here and talk. 
You can find us on the internet at Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, Locked on Sharks on all three. Uh, JD puts up all our work, obviously. Uh, if you would like to interact with us, you can do that. We are very interactive. We're an interactive species, the content boys. I had a thought about the content boys. Is the name going to be retired when this show ends, or are we going to pass it on to the next people? Spoiler. Oh, no, that is... <laughs> 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 that is going in the cold, damn, cold, cold ground with us. Um, let me put that on my coffin. YouTube, if you want to watch us, Locked on Sharks. Uh, lots of comments there. Keep commenting. I don't care if you tell us that you hate us. Just or if you have those. a dumb face. like how. Or if I have a dumb face. Which... Sick. Thank you. At least that guy was joking. He's, he's, I think he's the Portuguese man. Uh, which doesn't technically count. You grew up too, too long in California. We're talking about people in Portugal. Um, Anybody's from a weird country, please email us at lockdownsharks at gmail.com. We want to hear from you. If you're from somewhere normal like Sweden, you can still email us, but it will be less exciting. Think about how exciting it is we learned that Yaroslav mm -hmm. Hurdle exists in this world. Mm -hmm. um, Good morning, Yaroslav. <laughs> yeah, Yaroslav, baby. In the Scottish League. Listening to us, Spotify, Amazon, Apple, the usual suspects. Can always do that. JD in his lovely uh, dark navy living room. And great couch. You can be found. That actually looks like a very comfortable couch. It is. It looks very long too. So you can. Yeah, lounge. it's like the L shaped couch too. Yeah, it's so got yeah. the chase on it. Yeah. Oh, it's not a chase. It's just straight up an L shaped couch. Yeah. Does it's it pull not... out into like a queen bed or something? No, it doesn't pull out. But you know what they say? The only thing that pulls out about me is my couch. JD's at my fry hole. Kyle is at Kyle Demetrius. Thank you for making us your first listen. Um, go check out Locked On Bets, especially with March Madness up around the right around the corner. Um, go check out uh, Locked On Ducks if you want to learn more about our uh, Southern rivals, and go check out any of the other fine Southern rivals. Southern rivals, yes. Uh, go Locked On any... Sun Devils. There you go. So is that is that a pod? Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Why not? Locked On Sun Devils. If yeah. not, we should start Arizona. Prom. Yeah. Yotes? The Yotes are just going to turn into that. It'll have to do double duty. So, poor Robin. Bye, friends. Dezingle. <laughs> Dezingod.